the heart of a solar plant is each individual panel. How each panel performs can have effects that ripple through all levels of the plant, from the string and combiner box all the way to the inverter and the block. With this in mind, it's important for engineers and technicians at the plant to be able to see key metrics on each panel to determine how it's performing. On this panel details display in Pi Vision, an engineer or technician can quickly get important data all in one place. On the top right hand side of the screen, we can see important metadata about each panel, such as the manufacturer and the model. Also on the top of the display, I can get an idea about the efficiency of the panel both from a sense of the panel converting solar energy to power directly, shown in the gauge under panel efficiency here, um, or in a sense of the theoretical maximum from the power curve, shown under here, the power curve efficiency. If I want a more time-oriented visualization of this latter power curve efficiency, I can look here at the power curve analysis trend on the bottom of the display. Here I can compare my output current to that expected from the power curve, and see how that varies with the radiance as well. Additionally, I can see where the panel is operating on the IV curve. The curves on the XY plot on the bottom left come from the panel manufacturers themselves, and I can overlay our current data, shown in yellow here, on top of those reference curves. Ideally, we want to be operating at the top of the curve for the corresponding irradiance to be the most efficient. The last feature to point out on this display is that it's reusable for every panel at the plant. So in this case, we are looking at panel 10. I can switch over here quickly to panel one. And this allows every technician and engineer to use this display to diagnose issues quickly, as well as consistently. If something is found to be amiss with these panels, an engineer or technician may want to see if the issue is affecting the surrounding panels as well. To do this, we can go ahead and look at the string display. From this display, I can see the power output of each panel in the string and quickly compare them for outliers. On this display, you may realize that normally the string would have more than five panels, but our setup is quite small, and this will be seen again in later displays. Another important point of data here is the power output of the string shown in the radio gauge. This is a calculation rolled up from the output powers of the individual panels themselves. So now note that I also can go back down and investigate a single panel by clicking on the panel itself. Now I can navigate back to the string and point out that this display can also, similar to the panel display, be used to investigate any string at our site. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the combiner box. This display mainly just shows up a roll up uh, in power uh, of the two strings to the combiner box. Again, this display can be used for any combiner box at our site. Uh, and clicking on a radial gauge would take us back down to the string display that we just came from. So after our combiner box comes the inverter. Let's take a look. At the inverter, engineers and technicians are mostly concerned with the efficiency of converting DC to AC. So once this loads, what we'll be interested in here is the inverter generation trend. This gives a visual interpretation of the conversion um, of DC to AC, and radio gauges at the top show efficiency of this process as well. In our small system, you can see that currently we are handling 20 panels per inverter, but this may change as panels come on or offline. Now, most importantly on this display, we are tracking instances of low efficiency in event frames. You can see a table of the most recent occurrences here in the bottom part of the display. So as these come in, an engineer or technician can simply click on the event to bring up a display to investigate further. On this display, you can add or remove data items from this trend that spans the length of the event, 
as well as fill out a comment. Let's say I'm not sure why this happened. I can add a comment. I also then can acknowledge that I've done something about this event. Once this is completed, I can go back to the base inverter display. Now let's go ahead and move up to the block. Our small site only has one block, but we've made this screen so that we're ready when we expand. Here we can see the inverter output, as well as see a roll-up uh, in our generation in this radial gauge. So now let's take a look at the general site summary. This page is particularly useful for forecasting with our weather prediction trends on the right hand side. Folks on the training floor can use this data to predict what generation will look like in the coming days. Most of the time these predictions come from third party uh, resources like a website or other prediction software that we can then write and store in the Pi system itself. We can also then see how these are tracking against one another. We also have some financial data here for somebody like a vice president who wants to see our sites performing. We can see some price information as well as revenue for our site. So lastly, let's take a look at our home dashboard. Here, the 10,000 foot view of our solar plant, we can see some trends of total generation as well as revenue for today and revenue for yesterday. We also can see here that we have a quick table of panel efficiencies. This can help somebody at a top level, like a VP, see at a glance how panels are performing. And if they find an underperforming panel, they can quickly go to the panel detail display and alert the proper personnel. So overall, the Pi system here can serve many different people at our solar plant and is really the best one-stop shop for all real-time data about our plant.